All right, everyone, I'd like to welcome you back to another lesson today. And today we're going to be talking about the melodic minor scale. So what is the melodic minor scale? Before we get to that, we should probably go over the standard minor scale, and that's called the natural minor scale. So how do we make a natural minor scale? Well, if we play in the key of C, every scale is based off of the major scale, and it's just an alteration of the major scale. Now, if you go back to a previous video on this channel, I covered the major scale in a lot of detail. So now I'm going to show you how to make a minor scale. For C major, we know that it's all the white keys. So if we start at middle C and we play all the white keys, we will have C major. So it sounds like this. So to construct a C minor scale, what we have to do is alter some of these scale degrees. So the scale degree is the number that we assign to each note in the scale, right? So if I count through this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight notes in the C major scale, and each of those numbers is the scale degree. So if I say, what is the third in the major scale, we just count one, two, three. So that is a major third. So how do I make that a minor third? Well, I have to flat it by a half step. So that would sound like this, one, two, three. And so we call that a flat three. And that is the first step to our minor scale. So we need to flat two other notes. So a minor scale has a flat three, it has a flat six, and a flat seven. So when we play that with the rest of our major scale, we get a C minor scale, and it sounds like this. And we can build a C minor chord out of that, which would sound like this. So there are actually three minor scales. There is natural minor, which is the one I just explained. There is harmonic minor, and harmonic minor is the same as the natural minor, but it includes the major seven. Another way to think of it is it is the major scale with a flat three and a flat six, but it has a natural seven. So that sounds like this. So we can hear that that note that kind of sticks out is the B, which is the major seven, but it is included in the harmonic minor scale. Um, so if you play that over a C bass note, it sounds like this. Okay. So that kind of has like a classical sound. It's a little bit of a darker sound. So that brings us to the melodic minor scale. And the melodic minor scale is interesting because it's basically the major scale, but it only has the flat three. So it only has the minor third and the rest of it is major. So it has kind of a peculiar sound. It sounds like this. So again, if we play that over a C bass note, it sounds like this. I wanted to show you this scale because it's really easy to remember because it's a major scale with a minor third. So you only have to make one alteration to the scale. And it's a really easy way to get some more exotic sounding chords or notes. 
and it's an easy way to just break out of you know playing just major and minor chords one example of this is if we play the G in the bass and if we play a B and an E flat so what we get is G augmented so that's a really cool chord that naturally fits in this melodic minor scale. G is the fifth degree of the C scale. So that ends up being a really nice turnaround chord. So if you wanna get back to your C minor, right? So if that's our root chord, the C minor, a really nice turnaround for that is this G augmented chord. And the, the basic way you can play it is just G, B, and E flat. And so you can voice it in the inversion as well. And now we can return to the C chord. And you've probably heard that before in some other songs or other music, but that's a chord that exists naturally in the C melodic minor scale. And of course you can transpose the scale to any key that you want because you know that it's just a major scale with a flat three. So what I like to do is just kind of play through the notes and play different bass notes that are included in the scale to get different sounds. So let's just play our minor chord, a C minor um, inversion. And I'm gonna play different bass notes now, so. So that is in the scale. All these are gonna be in the C melodic minor scale. Okay, so that's really interesting. So since we have the A in this scale, which is not in a C minor scale. Now we have an A half diminished. So you can also call that a minor seven flat five, but this is a really cool chord. And again, that exists naturally in this scale. So right there, we have an A half diminished or an A minor seven flat five. And then we also have the G augmented. So let's play that again. And all of these chords are gonna resolve to your C minor chord. And I found that just by moving the bass notes around and keeping my C minor chord on top of the bass note. So I can also play a B underneath that. So that is also a really juicy chord. So that you could call it a B augmented with a flat nine. And if you're not familiar with nine chords, go ahead and watch my video on that one as well that is also featured on this channel called What is a Ninth Chord? So there are just some really nice tensions that naturally exist in this scale. And I invite you to just play around and try different combinations and see what you can come up with. It's a really cool way to just open up your tonality and open up your ears as well for hearing different types of tonalities and, and different chords and different extensions of chords. So if you have a keyboard, or if you have a guitar or any other instrument for that matter, go ahead and try out the melodic minor scale. It is the major scale with a flat three and see all of the new chords you can come up with that are outside of your standard majors and minors. And it will really open up your playing and it will really open up your ears. 
If you like this video and you like this type of content, please hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Have a great day.